Hey everyone, welcome back to Lady of Mafia of Wolfborn. I humbly apologize. I went MIA and everything. Guys, it has just been hectic. It has been busy with me. And then I was sick. So, there you go. That's the reason why I was kind of been missing for a little bit. Um, I did get to go to two cons before the end of the year. Um, most of you knew I was going to the Markton Con. And I went as Bible. I had fun dressing up as Fable. Will I do Fable again this year? Maybe. I don't know yet. Depends on if I can actually make pants this year. So that is my goal for this year, is to learn how to make pants. So there we go. If I can actually figure out how to make pants, then my Fable will be perfect. <laughs> uh, so the second con, um, actually I do have a story before I talk about the, the next con. I, I got to go to. Um, I was told my mother, and if I seen somebody dress up as a cat at the con, I was in a screen cat. Because if you ever seen American Tale, you will know that Pipe was terrified of cats, and he yells cats. Well, a girl was dressed up, and I ran into the. I yelled it, took off, and ran smack down into the technical judge's table. So yeah, there I go. <laughs> Excuse me. And the funny thing is I forgot one of the hallowed ground mills uh actresses work uh is a cosplayer as well. So we kind of didn't recognize we didn't recognize each other right off because I was like I'm like I'm like we look completely different. You if you haven't really seen somebody in their cosplay, it's kind of hard to tell who they are out of. I mean, when you see them normal and in their cosplay, you're like, is that that person? So we kind of debated. So I was like, well, she looks familiar. Her voice sounds familiar, and she's like, she's like T A, and I was like, yeah, it's me. She's like, Tiki, and I'm like, yeah. She's like, how oh, right. And so, she's like, I was, I was wondering if it was you or not. The reason why it was is because the reason why she kind of couldn't guess who I was, I had done this. I'll show you in a second, guys. I'll pull my hair up. So, I kind of done this, and so my hair was really short and all. So, because I had shaved underneath a while back. I had just left my hair like this. I had pulled my hair up and put it under. So basically, I looked completely different with short hair. So my underneath hair is actually growing out. And yeah, I don't know if I show you guys here or not, but yeah, I got me a tattoo. And all. Um, that's a Rosa. It was in honor of my beautiful Rosa that passed away uh, a few months back. And plus, so it means rose in Russian. So. Part of my heritage, so I wanted to include that a little bit. Sorry if the line keeps going in and out. It's just a really cloudy day and stuff, and I'm still sick. I got a fever blister around my nose here, so it hurts really bad right now. And so, okay, so the next con I got to go to before the end of the year was the Charlotte Winter Con. I had never been to their con before, so I was very, very tickled. <laughs> go and so I got to go I went as Dark Crystals Kira along with my pigskin a bunch of people actually recognized my cosplay and it just made me so happy they're like oh I know who you are I like I love your pigskin and so basically I, I it just made me so happy to actually see this my knew who I was but I do have some news the uh and I got him right beside me because the reason why I'm kind of not in my usual seat because he's sitting in the other one. Uh, so, this one here. Sadly, he is going to be retired because he is old. He is, um, later this, exactly later this year, he will be four years old. So, it is time for me to retire the old man here and because... This is how he originally looks. He is, I mean, he is just pieced together work. <laughs> um, it took me six hours to make him, and I didn't have the proper eyes or ears, so 
I got to go to a shop that does stu stuffed animal dogs and get proper eyes and everything because I want to reconstruct him and actually build a body that comes down because he does have like a sleeve body. And so he's going to be reconstructed and all. Hold on. Sorry. Um, so he's going to be redone either this year or next year. I don't know when yet. Um, but I have, I don't know if any of you have seen the prequel to The Dark Crystal. I have seen it and believe, yes, yes. I've already seen the new Gelflings. Yes. To answer your question, yes, I've already planned on new Gelflings. So don't worry. New Gelflings will be coming. And I'm already going to start stocking up on fabrics and stuff to buy for those Gelflings. But not for this year. I will not be working on the Gelflings for this year. It will be next year, be 2020, when I get the Gelflings made. Because there's two of them I actually want. I have seen two Gelflings I want to cosplay. And knowing leaders will probably be a ton more Gelflings. I'm going to be picking through to see which ones I wanted to cosplay. Uh, this year is going to be... Uh, Ayame from Inuyasha, which hence I, the red hair, which was not planned yet. I was not ready to do this dying yet. But the reason why I was is I have a job interview coming up, so I had to completely change my hair color because I had rainbow unicorn hair. Yeah, so I had to change. And I had to change my hair color and all, and I gotta make sure my hair, uh, this, I may go and take a band aid, big ass, big, big ass band aid and cover that, because I, my, my hair can be down and all, but I don't know how they would find it, if they find it expensive or not, but mostly if I actually get to have a job where my hair can be down, I would rather for my hair to be down. So it's not showing, and if it is, if I have to have my hair back and stuff, I will wear a bandage there, and, and so that way there's no problems with that. Uh, what does it mean for cons? I may not get to go to a lot of cons because I'm going to talk to them about I can work Saturdays. I'll just see, ask if I can request that Saturday off. If I can't, then I will not be able to go to so many cons this is the reason why. I'm making a lot of co plans for costumes, but I may not get to do all of them this year, so. Mm. But for this year, I'm going to finish working on my door slang. I'm going to do Ayame, as I just told everybody. Uh, the Lion King Scar, I have a plan for that one. Um, MIB, to celebrate the new Men in Black movie. Uh, what else did I put? And I have a secret when I'm working on. Nobody knows. Two people know. Two people know the secret cosplay I'm working on later this year. And it's going to be debuted at the, uh, either spring or summer Hickory Con. I'll be saving it to the end. Because it's, the food and what's it's going to be needed when it's warmer weather. So, yeah. I'm going to have to wait till it's warm and wear, to wear that outfit. Um, and Esmeralda. And plus, I cannot forget to celebrate the la the very last season of Gotham. I'm going to do a female scarecrow. I hate the show's ending. I cried when Z Nation, so next year I'm doing cosplays for the Z Nation, Lucy and Abby from the show, and if I get my hair cut, I'm going to be doing a cosplay of 10K, I love 10K, um, I just do it, so I will uh, so yes, yeah, so next year, this hair will not be here, it's going to be cut really short and all, so, because honestly, it's just a, a really bad pain to have this long hair and stuff, so. I mean, if I keep it, I'll keep it, but I'm going to have to find some way to relieve my headaches from it because it actually is putting, it pulls on my head a lot. So, and since this is back here, is starting to get really long, I may have to go back in and shave again. So, it does depend on how 
everything's gonna work with me. And I promise to start doing more Tiki Vlogs this year. Sorry, I have not done many. Um, and plus two, I have been, I started therapy, so. Uh, has it helped a, a, a tiny bit? Tiny bit. Uh, so I've already been told I don't have to go to therapy for a year, which sucks big time. I don't like talking to a therapist really, but the one I have, she's very sweet and she's very kind. So I got to explain to her why I didn't come to my last appointment. The reason why it was is the day I went to my appointment, I noticed something was not right. I noticed that I was very, very sick that day. I did go to the appointment until... <laughs> but right before I went to my appointment, let's say my mother has it now, so I can't catch because I'm still recovering from it. Let's say um, I had... Uh, my friends had to wait till I walked in because I was that sick. So I went to my appointment and I got queasy again. So I went home the next day. I could not hardly speak. I had laryngitis so bad. And it just grew worse and worse and worse. And my voice to me is still, uh, I can still tell my laryngitis is still, is still there. Because my, um, because it affected my vocal cords so badly. They actually were inflamed. They went and checked me at the hospital right on Christmas Eve. So part of my Christmas Eve was spent in the ER. So, because I had it so badly, they said I had it, and they said, like, well, like, well you had it, and you, you know, like, it was a good action to come in. So, they had me, start me on steroid treatments, antibiotics, because it was just that bad. And I'm still, and it was just last week when I got started treatment, so, I just finished my mess, and just about three, four days ago, so, yeah, I'm still not fully well yet. And tomorrow will be a week, so it takes about two weeks, about a week to two to get over it. So hopefully soon I won't sound so raspy to myself. And so that's the kind of reason why I didn't do a lot of videos. is because I physically could not do a video and my vocal cords get really sore if I talk for too long. And so it, it has done some damage to my vocal cords, so. I kind of been having trouble actually speaking sometimes, and after a while, I I can't really breathe because my bronchial tubes were still are still partially inflamed. So it's a, it's been a hard process to come back and be like, hey everyone, I'm gonna stop chipper tappering. As my friend calls it, I like to chipper tapper a lot. Love you, man. Love you. So um. But, and plus, so I'm have a different look. I'm not gonna look so girly this year. I'm gonna try to change up my wardrobe a little bit. But um, I hope you all did have a great Christmas and a wonderful New Year. Um, yeah. So I did get one thing for Christmas. Actually, I got two, three things for Christmas, which actually was a surprise to me. I'll show you one because I got them on. Um, so, yeah, I got these for my mother, my Harley Quinn lounge pants. As if you really know me, you know I'm a huge fan. Plus, so I'm losing weight, finally, people. Here we go. I can get the light on. Well, there we go. Yeah, so I'm losing weight. Here we go. So I'm not as big as I used to be, because my son was out to here. And out to here, so I actually had a big ass bump here. So I'm losing weight, and as soon as it gets warm enough, I'm gonna start walk, doing my walks and stuff again. So that's another solution. I want to find new love, <sighs> eat healthier. So, and if you notice, my face is not as bad as it was. It's actually reducing size a lot. So, I mean, I'm really hoping to get back in shape and everything because I want to. <sighs> Sorry, it's just really still hard, a little hard for me to breathe because I had asthma attacks so bad because when I have a respiratory infection, my asthma flares up very serious. I mean, that bad. 
So I'm having to deal with that right now. So, hmm. But I will update you later. Um, next week I will come back with Vitsiki's Vlogs. I just wanted to make sure everybody was having a wonderful day. And I, I actually, I want you guys for this year, I want you to leave your resolutions down below. Because I want to see what you guys have planned for this year. And, and plus two. I want you to tell me which ones you actually stuck to. By next year, I want to know what you all have stuck to and what your plans are for this year. If you're going to do cosplay, I want to know what you're going to be doing, what you're going to be cosplaying, and everything else. Alright, guys, I love you. Take care. And there's a baby outside. He needs a cute fuzzy baby. Bye.